Now, Raj, in the past year, uh, about how many colonoscopies have you personally performed? Um, I've probably performed about 1,500 or so colonoscopies. About 1,500. And of those 1,500, how many have you found polyps? Uh, 50, 100, 700? Um, for most of us, the average detection rate is about 25 to 40 percent. So that's, that's typically the, the rate with which we will all find polyps in people's colons. So out of 1,500, as, high, as many as 600 uh, will have polyps. When, when you see those polyps, you, you said they vary in size. What's a reasonably large one? Grape size, egg size? Grape size, probably. Anything about, uh, that's above about 10 millimeters or a centimeter in size is considered a higher risk polyp. Do you find a lot more little bitty ones or you just can't tell? When you go in, you don't know what you're going to find. No, the majority of polyps we see are little bitty ones, three to five millimeter polyps, which we still remove in most cases. Um, but I would say we probably find polyps 10 millimeters or greater in about 10 percent of our patients. Now, how do you remove those? Tell me about how you do that. There are multiple different techniques. For smaller lesions, you can simply grab the polyp with a forceps that looks a little bit like a jaw. Is the jaw on the end of the colonoscopy? It's yeah. on the end of an instrument that you advance through a channel that's built within the endoscope. Gotcha. So it goes in closed, and then when it comes out the end of the scope, you open it, and then you put it over the polyp, grab it, close it, and pull it off. Uh, and, and another way to do it would be what? Well, another way to do it would be to put something called a snare around the polyp, which is a little bit like a lasso, but it's got a wire loop. That wire loop can either be used to cut the polyp without using any energy at all, or for larger polyps, you can put the loop around the polyp, close it down, and then pass energy through the wire as well, which will allow you to cut thicker forms of tissue. Now, when you take out a polyp, can you pretty much tell if it's a precancerous, if there's um, unusual development inside that, or you just can't tell without sending it to pathology? You can sometimes, especially if you have high definition technology, because you can really see the surface features of the polyp. Polyps that are in the right half of the colon are all more, more likely to be precancerous polyps than not. In the left colon, it's a little bit tougher to tell. And then, of course, the larger polyps that we see tend almost always to have precancerous tissue.